I look in my purse these days, there's one thing that feels out of place. Look at all these credit cards. How analog. It's time for this to be the way to pay for things. So why is it still so hard? Because there are a lot of different mobile payment options, but no clear winner. The best known option is something called NFC tap and pay. It's basically radio waves. You need an NFC chip in your phone or your credit card. iPhones don't have them, by the way. And then when you want to pay for something, you basically just wave the phone or the card in front of this little terminal. NFC is what Google Wallet uses. It's also what Isis Mobile Wallet uses. That's a mobile payment service backed by AT&T, Verizon, and T-Mobile. Now that also means that those carriers won't usually allow Google Wallet on the phones they sell. Also, Isis Mobile Wallet is getting a new name soon because of the Iraqi militant group called Isis. So that's a little messy. Another hurdle is that stores have to have terminals that accept NFC payments, and that can cost them money. And PayPal is on the march. They have a new app that will show you nearby businesses that take PayPal. You can order ahead and pay right on the phone. Awesome, thanks. And they even have a feature that lets you pay at the table in a restaurant without having to wait for the check. PayPal also has a feature called hands-free paying. If you use the app, you can register your phone number and your PIN, and then some stores like Home Depot will let you check out just by entering your phone number and the PIN. No phone, no wallet required. Meanwhile, some stores and restaurants are just doing their own thing. The best known option is Starbucks. You buy a Starbucks card, download the Starbucks app, then you flash a barcode inside the coffee shop and leave happy with your tasty beverage. Dunkin' Donuts has a similar app, Chick-fil-A is testing one, and a group of natural enemies, including Walmart, Target, Best Buy, and Kohl's, are teaming up to try to do something similar. As usual with promising new technology, it'll be a while. In the meantime, the best thing going in mobile payments is the Starbucks app. So go get yourself a skinny soy vanilla latte and wait it out. <laughs>